<sighs> yeah, this feels like a dumb idea. This is the way. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Shopper Fit channel. My name is Brett. Make the motorcycle videos and motorcycle vlogs here on YouTube. A little warm today. A little warm today. That's why I'm not even riding yet. I'm getting ready and counting this as part of the vlog. <laughs> cheating i don't care but when you gear up like i do damn it's hot it's so damn hot this milk was a bad choice put this school riders jacket to the test today see if it flows anything not sure how hot it is either so let's check that before we get going saying it's 96 right now Feels like 106. 10 mile per hour wind, so it's starting to feel like the surface of the sun is blowing at me. Uh, Dad, how long are the days on this planet? Uh, computer, how long are the days on this planet? 42 hours. I do this because I love you guys. You know. Platonically. Let me get my riser app going and we'll discuss the topic of the day because it is related to this heat. Let's go. Look at that. Fourth of July weekend. Screwed up their driveway. Yep, 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 yep. Been a while since I rode. I think the last time I rode was when Bolt Bucket was in town. So that was last. See, I guess I rode Friday. I rode down to Emporia. Nope, Ottawa. I rode down to Ottawa to say goodbye to him there. So Friday. I'm now recording Wednesday. So five days or so. It's just we had the Fourth of July holiday. And it's just been brutally, brutally hot. Let's see what the Kawasaki says the temperature is. I know it says 96 from the weather. This says 91, but this thing has been parked in the garage for the last few days. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, after three minutes of rambling on about nothing, what are we talking about today? <sighs> riding and lack of riding and heat and I think I've determined I'm pretty fair weathery <laughs> when it comes to riding anymore point being we've had sunny days the last five days and this is the first time that I'm I'm getting out on the motorcycles I don't even know if I wasn't an all the gear guy, if I wouldn't be out. Cause guys, this, this temperature is just stupid. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I mean, I, I'm glad I didn't get stopped at that stoplight because that would have been uncomfortable. But the subject I want to talk about today is does does the heat ever get to a point to where you say, uh-uh, I'm not going to do it? Hot, hot. So for me personally, when I see temperatures that say 98, 99 degrees in Kansas, I know that that's going to equate to 108, 110 as far as the heat index goes, just because we have a pretty high humidity right here. That makes me not want to ride. That makes me not want to record, which makes me not want to do YouTube. <laughs> People wonder why I do batch recording on my channel. Like, why do I record three or four videos normally at a time? Today's only one. I'm recording enough for this ride and that's it. But why do I normally ride and record three or four episodes at a time? 
It's for these exact purposes. I don't want to have to ride to film when it's so miserably hot. I'm not comfortable, guys. Like, this is... This is bad because in addition to, you know, putting all the gear on, because I'm also now moto vlogging, I have all my vents closed up too. So it's like, you're going to burn. You're going to burn. <laughs> but the goal here now is to get to some country roads and have some constant air moving. See if that helps. We'll be right into the wind, of course. Oh man, right behind a truck. Oh, he's turning, excellent. All right, let's go get some fresh air. Yeah, it's warm. <laughs> I can already feel the sweat all inside the helmet right now. Like it is. It is very uncomfortable. I'm just going to do this for a second. Let some air flow in there. And that's already cooling me off quite a bit. <laughs> but I'm just going to leave it open. I don't care. You're going to get a little wind noise today. We're going 65. You're getting wind noise anyway. So what is your guys' cutoff point for the heat? I know I've done something similar in the past in the winter time. Like how cold is too cold? And... I said I would ride down into the 30s and whatnot. But man, heat is just a whole nother beast. Look at that, that's cool. The heat is just a whole nother beast though. I, I don't know what it is, but for me, in the winter time, you can put more clothes on and more gear on to get to a comfort level. In the summertime, you can only go so far, legally anyway, uh, even if you're just home lounging around by yourself and you just want to like gallivant naked, guess what? That's as far as you can go. If that's not cool enough for you, you're screwed. You're screwed. <laughs> but I will say, so it's a lot of a mental thing to get up and get out and ride. And I even though I've already complained about the heat a little bit here. What's like that? The sun's scary. But you know, we're going on about six minutes is all as far as being out here. I don't mind it terribly. The mesh jacket's allowing the air to move through. I think I could probably handle this if I needed to. But I do lose a lot of the enjoyment as far as the cool air. Because like I said earlier, this is, this is just kind of draining. I know I'm sounding like a major wuss to those Texas guys. I, I'm from Texas and I, I don't remember it being this hot for this long, which I'm, I'm sure that is not the case down there, but um, it's just, it's really hot. <laughs> Holy jeez. Look at what we got here. A silly penguin is back again. No, Mr. Madison, they're not penguin. You got too much sun today. They're no penguin. Oh. It's too damn hot for a penguin to be just walking around here. And it just feels like though, this summer, there's been just no relief. Generally in July, is, July is one of the months that I usually get a lot of the miles for the year on the bike, but this year, not so much. Our average temperature, for July in Kansas is usually around 85, 86 degrees. I think we've had one day, one day where we were under that temperature. And I think we've had one day when we were in the 86 to 90 range. Everything else has been 93 to 103. It's just hard to get dressed to do this <laughs> but at the same time it's hard to get dressed to do it but I'm getting to the point now on this ride that I've been out here long enough to where I'm starting to enjoy it my body is starting to perspire underneath of this jacket and the warm breeze is actually having a little bit of a cooling effect so 
I'll at least say this to school riders. You do a very good job on your mesh jacket. I I can only imagine if I was in like a leather or something like that. There's just a no no way possible. But yeah, this this ain't all so bad. This ain't so bad at all. I didn't know this much. I got these new jeans, which uh, you can see right there. And if I didn't have them on, because I was wearing a pair of flannel line jeans. Oh God. I would like to do a test here in the future, just because that's one of the fun things I like to do with the channel is some random testing. And I feel like maybe Day and Day and the Fireman has already kind of done a similar test, but I want to do my own because I want you guys to look at my channel and okay. We're at 98 degrees according to the Kawasaki now. So we're at 98. There's a cop hiding up there, guys. So we got to keep this tame. That's usually one of the roads I like to kind of scoot fast on. But 98 according to the Kawasaki. So weather channel, you're accurate. You're accurate. And I can't remember the last time I saw four bars from the temperature gauge. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Why? <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's see. This should feel really good now. Good day, Sheriff. It doesn't feel much better. It feels the same as it did. <laughs> I was really up in a window. So, for you guys and gals, what's your cutoff temperature? Because, again, this is rideable. It's doable. Obviously, people ride hotter than this down south. Maybe what I need to be saying is not a cutoff point as far as not riding. Because I think the majority of us, if we're desperate for that ride, we're going to get out and do it. That's just all there is to it. But maybe what is your heat line or heat index line for being comfortable? So again, for me, I love the low 80s. I really love the 70s. I could marry the 60s and the 50s. Oh, I love the 50s. <laughs> it actually brings up a funny point on the local news. They took a poll and they said, would you rather it be 100 degrees like it is today or zero degrees? And everyone's saying zero degrees, zero degrees. But the weatherman then said, well, six months from now when it's zero degrees, I'll ask the same question and I bet you the poll results are flipped and he's probably not wrong, probably not wrong. Go on though and drop your comments down below for your ideal temperature and then what temperature you say this is uncomfortable and then if there is a ultimate temperature to where you just won't ride go and drop it as well i am very curious to see how my heat compares with the rest of the country because again kansas is just right in the thick of it we get the cold cold and the hot hot so go ahead and drop your comments below i appreciate you guys checking in on me and as always i will catch you on the next dark side as this is the way chapter for that later